Good evening, I'm Scott Schaefer. We begin tonight in Schuylkill County, where for the first time in the Diocese of Allentown, a community has bought back a church after it closed. Newswatch 16's Claire Alfrey shows us how parishioners were able to save it. Just looking around, looking at the windows, the stations, uh, just things that reminded me of when I was here before and brought back a lot of good, good memories. Steve Palick lives near his childhood church in Port Carbon, St. Stephen's. This was the first time he's been back in years. I went to St. Stephen's uh, school, grade school, one, one to grade one to eight, and I was an altar boy here. My mother, uh, up till uh, the time she couldn't anymore, uh, she used to walk here up the hill. Uh, and if she, if she was alive today, she'd be here. After the Diocese of Allentown closed the church in 2020, Maureen Challenger and her sister spent the next two years raising money to reopen the church that was so special to their family. Challenger's nonprofit, the Society of St. Stephen's, now owns the chapel and is dedicated to preserving its history. We just did not not want to see it be used for a non-religious purpose, which was basically what was going to happen. St. Stephen's Chapel was built before the Civil War and has been open now for 175 years. You know, we have beautiful religious artifacts like the stained glass windows and um, we wanted to see this remain a sacred space. Now called St. Stephen's Chapel, the church is no longer a part of the Diocese of Allentown, but it still holds mass on special occasions. Edward Connolly is a retired priest and serves as the Society of St. Stephen's Chaplain. Steve Pavlik expects this to be the first of many times he returns to his childhood church in Port Carbon. Well, we, we probably will attend to some of, some of the functions they have here, and, uh, and financially, uh, as we can, we, we will definitely support it. I think it's, it's a great thing. Claire Alford, Newswatch 16, Schuylkill County.